Well, it was huge, obviously. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was awesome. Uh, you know, they backed it up there and and uh, knew it was gonna make it tough for them. And awesome to see the defense step up, and make a huge play. Ryan, obviously this game wasn't a, a pretty win. You know, some slot, um, just kind of the red zone stuff and a few drops here and there. Just to be able to come out on top in a game like this, where not everything is going right for you guys. Just what does it show? You know about this group. Yeah, obviously we gotta we gotta clean some stuff up. But uh, I'm never gonna apologize for a win. Proud of our guys. We battled through. Um, you know, we we're able to make some some plays when it counted, and uh, and come away with a win. So, proud of our guys, uh, really, you know, stepping up and uh, finding a way to come away with a win. You sense that Marcus might have a big one like this coming. I have a ton of faith in Marcus every time he steps out there. You know, um, you know, going back to training camp, and then he's had a couple opportunities to step up and make plays for us this year. Um, you know, awesome to really see him get going a little bit. You know, caught that early one. Uh, coming underneath and then uh, got into the open space and uh, I know he has some juice so excited to see that happen. Do you feel like you guys have better rhythm in the passing game this week? There's still a lot of stuff we, we got to clean up, you know. So I think we, we did some good things, uh, had some opportunities there. Um, but we just got to keep our, our foot on the gas, keep cleaning things up, and, and be better prepared for next week. Coach, uh, Coach Braver was saying that um, they needed to see that from Marcus today and that maybe Marcus needed to see that for himself too. Is that going to be a, a, a boost for him having a, a big day like today? Yeah, it should be. It should be. You know, a guy goes out and, and makes plays for us. Um, Create huge explosive plays, and it was played consistent for us the whole day. Uh, so, you know, it should it should give him confidence moving forward. You know, I know I have a ton of confidence in him. This offense has a ton of confidence in him. So, hopefully, we can use it as a springboard for him to uh, to keep progressing. I'm just, maybe that, I'm, I'm just gonna follow on that and say how how important is it to have that sort of compliment to, to AJ? You know, when, when AJ is gonna be so well covered regularly. Well, it's huge. You know, you you know you see. Uh, Julio not make it to the game, and uh, we need somebody to step up and, and, and fill that role for us. So uh, when you have a guy like Marcus that's able to do that, it, it creates more balance for us offensively, and um, we, you know, we can run our offense. Well, how big was it that you guys were able to get the, the special teams turnover there to start in the second half and go back out and cash in for seven? Oh, it was huge. You know, that, that – uh, I'm not even sure who made that hit, but that was, that was awesome, man. You, you see a big hit on special teams. Uh, without a turnover, and it can it can change the momentum of a game, and uh, and really give the defense going get a lot of confidence going onto the field. You get a turnover, put the offense in, in great field position there. I uh, really springboarded us to uh, uh, to get get into the end zone and uh, really change the game. You, you had an injury report with an illness, I guess Friday. Did you feel better by yesterday? What was the end of your week like, and, and kind of getting ready for today? Yeah, I don't feel so good. Uh, still dealing with a lot, but uh, was. Thankful I'm able to uh, to make it to the game and, and be out there. Chipotle related? I was going to say. Do what? Chipotle related? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Were, were you ever that. worried that you weren't going to be able to play at any point for the last couple of days? No, I wasn't worried. Did you just have to pump yourself with IVs, or what was it like kind of getting yourself right there? Uh, a, a, lot, a lot of things went into it, but you know, just thankful I, I was able to make the game. Uh, when you guys offered a short field two times in this game, and both times came away with seven points, is that where this thing was won? I think it was one in a lot of different areas, but that definitely contributed. Obviously, you know, taking advantage of short fields. We got another one there. Uh, I be believe at the beginning of the or end of the third quarter, we, we didn't take advantage of, got the ball around the 40 yard line or so. Um, got to be able to move the ball there and, and get points out of that. And we got to be better in the red zone. Uh, overall, you know, we moved the ball during the middle of the game consistently and just uh, didn't finish consistently enough in, in the red zone. So uh, we've been better there. We just got to get back on track and, and learn from this one. Ryan, you guys have taken the next man up thing kind of to the extreme this year. I think you've had the most players play in games in the NFL. Is this, is this a point of pride in the locker room? Are you sick of this continuing to be the case? Are you guys talk about this a lot? You know, it's something we believe in. You know, obviously we, we talk about it. You know, you don't want to consistently have have to have other guys step in, but um, if that's the case, then you want guys to to step in and play with confidence and um, something our program believes in. Our coaches are preaching it. We believe in it as players. That, uh, you know, if, if you get an opportunity, you got to step in and take advantage of it. And so, if that mentality persists throughout the organization, then we're going to be in good shape. You had that confidence with uh, Marcus Johnson since training camp. What was it that allowed it to really come to fruition today, stat statistically? Uh, he, he went out there and made plays. You know, he got some opportunities, and you know, every time the ball 
went his way, you know, he made the play. So hats off to Marcus. Excited to, to see him get going a little bit. Hopefully we can build on it. Ryan, how would you describe the way you actually felt this morning when you woke up before the game? Uh, bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a tough couple of days, uh, but hopefully keep progressing and, and feel better. Is it like a stomach bite? Is it like a stomach thing? Or yes. Oh, okay. I told you before the game, you're not going to have Julio. You're not going to have Derek. And AJ's going to catch one pass. I'm going to guess you think your chances aren't real great today. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to have Julio or, or Derek. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know AJ was only going to have one, one catch. But uh, I really didn't even realize he only had one catch. Uh, but Marcus stepped up. We had, we had a bunch of guys that stepped up and made plays for him, made some big plays for us. Um, Adrian had some good runs. Tight ends made plays for us. So, uh, you know, I kind of take the mentality of it, we're not ever dependent on one person, you know. Uh, there's going to be opportunities that they present themselves throughout the game to different people, to different position groups. And it's just a matter of being able to step up and take advantage of it. And some guys did that today, and it really helped us out. It's one of those plays was, was, I guess, the forced fumble on the kickoff to start the second half. How much of a play like that kind of helped spark momentum? You know, I think it was Dylan Cole with the hit, and, uh, and then Corey with the recovery. Yeah, that was huge. You know, coming out of the second half, huge hit, ball comes out and uh, puts the offense in, in great position there to, to go score. Offense was able to capitalize on that, go punch it in the end zone. So uh, really, you know, got the second half started off right for us.